Hey, what's up? It's Lala Anthony, and you're checking out Bicep.com. Hi, Lala. How are you doing today? Doing good. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is your first Made in America, or how many times have you been? No, this is my first. This is your first? Yeah. Why are you feeling the vibe so far? I love it. I love outdoor festivals. I like being outside. I like wearing my combat boots, just hanging out, having a good time. I love that. Okay, and what's been your favorite part of the fest? Like, what's been a highlight for you so far? Just seeing all my friends and being able to bring everybody. We took a sprinter van up, so we were like bugging out in the car, having fun, then get to come out here, look at amazing performers outside. It's just the perfect vibe. The weather is amazing. It's yes. great. And yeah, we were scared about the storms for I a know. minute. I so kept yeah, hearing about exactly. rain, but it was perfect. All right, now you're on power, which is like a huge pop culture phenomenon for everybody. What is it like being a part of something that's so big and popular with everybody right now? It's amazing. You know, I'm honored to be on the show. The show has completely taken off and people love it. It's a new episode on tonight that gets a little crazy. So um, I I'm just happy to be a part of it. All right. And um, so is Tasha ever going to find out that she, <laughs> she's using your, your, uh, you ever going to find out that Tasha is using your store as a cover? I'm sure at some point it's going to get a little tricky. Are you able to like tease us with anything that's gonna come up this season? Can you give us like a little spoiler? Well, tonight, some some secrets come out, so I can say that awesome. it's gonna be a really good episode. All right, and just switching gears a little bit, um, you know, your husband a couple months ago set up the charge for athletes to really make a stand about everything that's going on with the police, Black Lives Matter, and in the recent weeks we've seen Colin Kaepernick, Eric Reed, um, Jeremy Lane have taken that mantle up. How do you guys, as a couple, feel that you know people are actually paying attention to what? he said out there and the athletes are actually following suit with what he put in the paper. Well, you know, I appreciate my husband actually saying something and then doing something behind it. He had an amazing town hall meeting in LA with youth, the youth in the community and police officers and just having an open dialogue. I really am proud of him for that because I think it just starts with communication, being aware and talking about it and them hearing our side and us hearing their side and really trying to come to some sort of compromise. So. I am proud of my husband for kind of starting that and igniting it and getting it going because I think it's important for the conversation to keep going in order for us to see anything change. Okay, awesome. And um, who are you looking forward to? Sorry, who are you looking forward to the most to see perform tonight? Are you a big Coldplay fan? Are you here for Chance? Like, who are you looking forward to seeing? Well, I love Coldplay. I love DJ Khaled. He's well, he's my friend, but also I just love him like he knows how to get you hype and get you going his album is crazy so i'm excited for his set because i know i'm gonna be up dancing and just acting wild so what's your favorite khaled saying you know he has a lot of catchphrases what's your favorite one stay away from they i like that i stay away from they exactly. everybody needs to stay away from they exactly. all right awesome thank you so thank much thank you it was really nice thank nice you so much you. You thanks too. 